This is problem 3.4. We are working in uh, equilibrium of particles. In this case, we have this core that it passes through this ideal pulley and hold this weight. And the pulley is held by another core. Let me put here the names of the points. This is weight A and this is point C. And they give us also this angle right here. This angle is is the five, sorry, five. Five over here, 12, and therefore this is 13. And they want us to find the maximum weight that this configuration can hold if the cords are able to hold maximum 100 pounds. So max the cords hold maximum 100 pounds. And they want to find us they want us to find the weight. As usual, the first step is always to do the free body diagram. So I will draw the free body diagram of that pulley B. As you remember, this pulley is an ideal pulley, therefore it's frictionless, and the side of the pulley is also neglected. Therefore, the tensions of both course that goes through the pulley, so if I have the pulley over here, I have a tension over here, but this tension over here is equal to that tension. So these tensions are equal. And then I have another tension. But since this tension is equal, then it's equal to the weight. So therefore, if I draw the free body diagram, actually I almost did over here, I can say that this is the weight, and this is also the weight. Both tensions are equal. And then I have a different tension over here, which is tension B, D. As I said, those, those, the pulley is uh, dimensionless, so actually all the forces are, uh, uh, we can say that are only in the same point. I draw the pulley, but we can actually say that every single force will be in the origin of our coordinate system. So, we, once we have the free body diagram, the next step is always to do the equations of equilibrium. In this case, we will add forces in x, and that is equal to zero. That leads us to the following equation. So, we have this weight. Here, you see, we have this angle, and this angle is exactly the same as this angle over here, right? So we, this angle is equal to this angle. So we have this angle is equal to that angle. And the sine of this angle, if we call this theta, the sine of theta will be the opposite over the hypotenuse. And the cosine of that angle will be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Therefore, we have in the x direction, and here we have an angle theta, which we do not know. So we also have to find that angle theta. So we have in x direction, we have the weight cosine of theta, right, minus TVD cosine of, oh, I call them both the same. Let me call this a different, not to make confusion because those angles are different, C. This is C, C. So therefore, this is C, sorry about that. This is B, right, which we already know. The angle. And the angle theta, so we have cosine of theta equals to zero. And then for the y direction, we have that this weight is in the y direction. We have the component TB in the y direction, and we have this one as well. So the, this will be TB sine of theta, right, minus the weight, which is this one right here, minus weight 
sine of phi. Okay, so let me call this equation one and this equation two, and then I can write the equation one will be equal then to weight cosine of phi, which we already know that is five over 13, is equals to tension B D cosine of theta. And for equation two, we have that we can have those two weights, we can add them together, and I will write these two weights in the other side of the equation, but I will write them here. Weight, this is plus weight, and this is 12 over 13, which actually, if we add them together, we have 13 plus 12, that will be 25 over 13 over the weight, or multiply by 25 over 13, and that will be equals to this tension over here. Tension B, D, sine of theta. Okay, so those are my two equations. So I have two unknowns. What are the unknowns of these two equations? Actually, I have three unknowns because I have the weight, I have the tension, and I have theta which is this angle. So how do we do, if we have only two equations, how do we do to find three unknowns? So the first that we could find is the angle theta. You see, if we divide equation two over equation one, so we divide two over one, we get that d be d sine of theta equals to the weight 25 over 13 over d b d cosine of theta weight 5 over 13. So here you see that this cancels out, this cancels out, and we here have, and the 13 cancels out as well, and this 25 cancels with one five, and we have then that the tangent of theta is equals to five. Therefore, theta is the inverse tangent of five. And we can find theta is equals to, and I have it right here, 78.69 degrees. So we found the first of our three unknowns. In order to find these other two, we need to use the other condition that says that the court hold maximum 100 pounds. So we have to, since we want to find the weight, we will have to say, okay, let's see, what happens if the tension of the court is the maximum, and that will be the maximum weight the system can carry. So I will say here, for the tension BD equals to 100 pounds, then I will, and since I already have the value of the angle, I will be able to find the weight. So I plug it in any of the equations. So I plug it into here, and the tension is what I want to find, to put it as 100 cosine of 78.69. And from here, I solve for the weight. And the weight gives me 50.99 pounds, which is, which is a 51 pounds. So this is the value. And that means, that means that this rope over here is carrying 51 pounds and this rope over here is carrying 51 pounds. So when this rope over here carries 100 pounds, these two carry only 50 ones. That means this is less than 100 pounds, so they will not break when we carry the maximum weight. The maximum weight this configuration got, can carry is 51 pounds, so that this rope over here holds 100 pounds.